Hi, this is Lucas from Datacake. I recently got a solar system installed on my rooftop and this solar system obviously also includes a solar inverter. Uh, this inverter has an integrated display that shows for example the current readings but also statistical values and while this is pretty cool I um, don't want to run into my garage every time I want to see how much power we're currently generating. And also I wanted to uh, integrate this uh, inverter into my home automation so that I could, for example, start the dishwasher only if there's uh, currently enough power being generated. Um, fortunately, my inverter has a Ethernet port and an integrated web server. And while browsing the web server, I noticed that it also has a Modbus TCP server integrated which is pretty cool because this should make it very straightforward to extract the data um, if you have the um, information what uh, kind of port and registers you have to read. Uh, fortunately, there is a um, PDF document that holds all this data. For example, the unit ID is 71, the TCP port is 1502, and it also includes a list of all the um, relevant registers we want to read. Um, with the format, the quantity of registers, and um, also the unit. So, um, why the easiest way to get this data into Datacake would be to use uh, Node-RED um, with some kind of Modbus TCP nodes and the Datacake nodes. But in this video, I'm going to use the Datacake REST API in conjunction with a Python script. So, um, let's dive into some code. Um, I chose the PyModbus library for this example to read the data. So we're doing some imports and then we also have to define some constants, for example, the inverter IP, which you can get from the um, inverter's display or from your router, as well as the inverter port, which is coming from the um, PDF document. So having this data, we can then initiate a Modbus TCP client instance using the IP and the port and connect to it. So let's go back to the document and see what kind of data we could be interested in. Um, actually, this is quite a lot, but um, one of the most important uh, readings would be the total yield. So how much power has the inverter generated in its lifetime? So we can see it's the address is 320. Um, the unit is watt hours, it's float, it's two registers. So um, having this data, we can then Oops. Read the registers from the holding register. So the address is 320, quantity is 2, and the unit is 71. Um, this was in the PDF document right next to the TCP port. Um, we have to decode the binary payload. So we know it's a float. So uh, we can use the first use the binary payload decoder from registers. And um, the byte order is um, big endian. Uh, this was also specified in the PDF document while the word order is uh, little endian. Um, we know that this is a float, so we can then use um, our binary payload decoder to decode it as a 32-bit float. So if we did not make a oops, mistake, we can then use Python oops, cost uh, to data cake to read this register and see that we have quite some power generated already. So how do we get this data into data cake? First, we obviously need uh, to create a new device. We are using an API device and name it invert, oops, inverter. Start with an empty configuration. And uh, we're using a free device in this example. This has uh, seven days data retention. So now we are in the configuration of the device. And the first thing we are going to do is to um, create a field that holds the data. We call it total yield. The identifier is total yield. It's a float. The unit is uh, what hours. Let's save it. Then we are going to go to our dashboard and uh, add a value, choose the field, save it. So let's go back to the configuration. To um, get the data into uh, the device, I'm going to use the 
Python requests library, which is very handy. And um, we will need the uh, device's serial number. It's the uh, UUID. You can find this in the URL as well as uh, in the metadata. So uh, we are going to requests.post https api data cake.co slash v1 slash devices device id slash record set some headers for the offer for ryization it's a very complex word and uh, now we need an api token we can get this from the workspaces members api users let's create a new api user call it costal python add permission for all devices check all the permissions and now we can copy the api token so now we are going to craft the payload which consists of the field name which is total yield and the value which is total yield so let's make chrome to the right side let's go into an inverter and uh, rerun the python script and now we are seeing that we have generated uh, almost 1000 kilowatt hours already which is quite impressive so um, this is how easy it is to use the datacake api to um, push data into datacake devices um, i hope you like this video and um, yeah thanks for watching